Hey, it's Walt, K4OGO. You know I'm blessed. I live in a working harbor, and uh, it's nice to have a place where I could just go across the street, basically, and set up portable. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm here in Portsmouth, Virginia, my hometown. That's uh, Norfolk, Virginia, right across the harbor from me. And uh, today, I'm going to take the uh, MFJ 1899T telescopic antenna, use a mag mount and a pizza pan, and um, put it all together and see if I can make some contacts. Just something easy, quick, that I can throw together and just have some fun. You know, it's nice get an opportunity of a few minutes. I can just run across the street, set the antenna up, and uh, have some fun. So um, stick around. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Okay, here's the setup today. I've got my, uh, I've got a really nice ground rod that I'm going to put down here in the riverbank, run a line to it. There's the antenna, the telescopic antenna. That is a steel pizza pan with a mag mount, BNC type mag mount. I have my Zygu G90. I also have a few different wires. I have one I'm going to use to run down to the, uh, the ground rod, and I have another one that I was going to take from the back of the Zygu G90 to the pan. I might move it around and test different options. Also have a nice brick because I'm going to get the center of gravity of that pizza pan and antenna down so it doesn't flip over on me. But anyway, that's the setup. I'm going to uh, put it all together now and uh, see what we can do. Okay, here we go. There's the radio set up with the battery ready to go. It's a little LifePo 4 battery that I have. There's the ground wire from the radio and the coax from the radio going to the pizza pan. You see the clip there. The big clip is going down into the sea bank with that rod I showed you. And there is the antenna. There is the MFJ 1899T with the Norfolk skyline behind it. Let's go have some fun. Okay, I stated I wanted something quick and easy I could put together. Well, this thing definitely wasn't quick and easy. To start off with, the MFJ instructions had an error in it. Um, 20 meters should go to tab number three for the coil at the bottom. Fortunately, there's a set of uh, instructions out for the Yazoo FT817 that's correct and also gives some good information. Part of that information from those uh, instructions was to connect a ground wire directly to the radio to the counterpoil. So I tried to do that with the pan intact. That didn't work and I got pretty high SWR. So I took that off and just went straight to the pan. And then off from that, I that didn't work. So I went back straight to the ground and that was very high SWR. So then I just ran the counterpoise straight to the antenna and it started coming down pretty good. That was the trick. That pan wasn't doing much. After that, I added a ground rod into the marshy riverbed and man, the SWR, SWR went down way down and I made some good contacts, including this one on 40 meters. Kilo four, Oscar, Golf Oscar. Yes, that's Kilo 4, Oscar, Golf Oscar. I'm uh, 20 watts portable in the Norfolk, Virginia Harbor. Okay, so you uh, are on the main mobile. Uh, Kilo 4, Oscar, Golf Oscar. Uh, you are 5757 into Kilo, uh, Kilo 16, 567, QSL? QSL, QSL, and you are 57 here into Norfolk, Virginia. QSL, are you on the main mobile? I'm actually on the seawall portable on the seawall with the Zygo G90 20 watts and the uh, MFJ 1899T telescopic whip. Okay, yeah, I actually have that whip. Uh, I'm not using it today, but doing a fine job getting up here in Connecticut. And uh, thanks for having me this afternoon. 73 uh, kilos of. 73. Echo, echo, right. Okay, with a lot of work and a lot of antenna trimming, I found out that this antenna was pretty good on 17, 20, and 40 meters. I say pretty good. Um, it took a lot of work. Well, I've been out of here two hours, and uh, man, I've done everything. Played around with uh, counterpoise wires, ground, up, down. Tried to tune this thing every way possible, and uh, you know, I could get it to tune. I think the best SWR I got on either 20 or 40 or 17 was about uh, 2 to 1. 
So it took a lot of work. Um, it's a neat experience. Didn't make a whole lot of contacts, but uh, you know what? I wanted to try the antenna out and see what it would be like. Uh, do I recommend it? Yeah, if you want to play around and have a good time with it, is this an everyday antenna to go out and set up for Poto or whatever? I wouldn't recommend it for that. You know what? It was fun. Like I said, I just wanted to test it, see what it was all about. So anyway, that was it. And uh, thanks for watching. I'm K4 OGO Walt 73.